Well, good morning, and thank you for joining us. This is Andrew Williams, Jr. Today is January 3rd, 2023, uh, 2024. This presentation is being brought to you by Global Green Development Group to onboard applicants for the Discrimination Financial Assistance Program. Section 22007 of the Inflation Reduction Act provides financial assistance for farmers, ranchers, and forest landowners who experienced discrimination by the United States Department of Agriculture and USDA's farm lending prior to 2021. That means is anyone that suffered discrimination before 2021, that could go back decades. So it's not limited to just the last few years, but anytime prior to 2021. Applying for this program is free and free help with the application is available. This application includes step-by-step -step directions and a list of documents that are either required or recommended at each step. Payments for approved applications will be delivered early in 2024 by check through the U.S. mail. Global Green Development Group is providing free technical assistance to any qualified applicant and my company, andrewnetworks.com, is hosting free online webinars every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time through January 13 of 2024. We're also live streaming each session through the Facebook group, Ayakba TV Network, rebroadcast on our YouTube channel at Ayagma TV Network and on demand through our www.ahiabga.nwn.tv on the New World Network. Before I introduce today's presentation, let me tell you a little about Global Green Development Group, and you may go to their website at ggdg NOW.com. Global Green Development Group is a consortium of like minded operating companies with their dedicated senior executives representing a variety, a diversity of disciplines and industrial and developmental knowledge formed to provide services to emerging economies. Key focus areas are agriculture infrastructure development, which includes housing, hospitality, and new city development, and energy, including oil and gas, and power generation. This team has over 30 years experience as a certified government prime contractor. Global Green Development Group offers <clears throat> or delivers technical assistance services to a wide range of businesses from the smallest to the largest. So you can count on them to provide you support for your efforts from the beginning to the end of the application process. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Courtney Flowers for today's presentation. Thank you for your attendance and thank you for your appreciation. Thank you for your participation with our efforts. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today for this virtual event hosted by Global Green Development Group.
Are you a minority farmer that has been discriminated against? Well, if so, you deserve compensation and we will help you get it at no charge. Do you need financial relief to pay your bills and grow your farm? Have you been denied a USDA loan? Have you experienced a farm foreclosure in the past? Do you currently have a high interest farm loan? Well, farmers, ranchers, and forest landowners who experienced discrimination by USDA in its farm loan programs prior to January 1st, 2021 and or are currently with assigned or assumed USDA farm loan debt that was the subject of USDA discrimination that occurred prior to January 1st, 2021, you are now eligible for this program. Get your refund now. Section 22007 of the Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, directs USDA to provide this assistance for free. There is no cost to the farmers and free technical assistance is provided to help you process your application and get your refund. The application deadline is December 31st, 2023. You're able to attend free workshops in your area. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and give us a call. We are providing free local events to help all minority farmers who have been discriminated against by the USDA. We will be setting up these free local and virtual workshops to help assist with gaining knowledge of the Discrimination Financial Assistance Program, as well as help with filling out the applications for the program. The point of this program is to give back to all the minority farmers who were discriminated against in the form of large payments up to $500,000, which will help out greatly with rebuilding and or growing their farms. So why not take advantage before it is too late? Get what is owed to you now with no obligations. We're here to help. The process is quick, easy, and well worth it. Questions or concerns about taxes on these refunds? No problem. We will also be there to assist anyone who has questions or concerns, as well as connect them to our tax accountant if you have any questions. There really is no reason not to apply. Let's get it done today. A frequently asked question by potential applicants is, if I prevailed in a prior discrimination case against USDA, am I still eligible for the Discrimination Financial Assistance Program? The answer is yes. There have been several prior cases and matters addressing discrimination in USDA farm loan programs. Whether you have obtained money or loan forgiveness or are even in claim processing, you are eligible. So sign up today. We have plenty of workshops to come, so stay tuned and spread the word. We are covering all of California. Contact us now. Following this, we will have a question and answer segment. I just want to go ahead and thank everybody for tuning in today. Stay tuned for question and answer. Okay, so here we just have a, a calendar of our upcoming events. So as you could see from now into December, this will be every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. sharp just to, you know, try to get this program out there and to help people with signing up and registering and applying for the program. Here is uh, the link if you need to go on and apply or if you have any other type of questions or concerns that we may not have addressed. Um, if you go to this link, you can apply directly online. All right, so we do have questions and answers coming up. But before I get into that, I just want to go over some more information like eligibility requirements, the type of discrimination covered, how discrimination occurred, loss factors, and documentation requirements. So um, as far as your eligibility, uh, the ability to qualify qualify for financial assistance is available for individuals who experienced discrimination 
prior to January 1, 2021 by the USDA and its farm lending programs, which are currently administered by the Farm Service Agency, FSA, or are currently debtors with assigned or assumed USDA farm lending debt that was the subject of USDA discrimination that occurred prior to January 1, 2021. This applies, for example, if you inherited the debt that was the subject of USDA farm lending discrimination by the USDA. To be eligible to participate in the program, you must be or have been a farmer or would be farmer, be or have been a participant or would be participant in farm lending, have experienced discrimination by USDA in USDA farm lending, or be a debtor with assigned or assumed USDA farm lending debt that was the subject of USDA discrimination, be able to verify your identity and provide information to submit the discrimination experience. Note, again, even if you have prevailed and obtained money or loan forgiveness in a prior case addressing discrimination by USDA, you are still eligible. There are many types of discrimination covered. So the program covers discrimination based on different treatment you experience because of race, color, national origin, ethnicity. That includes status as a member of an Indian tribe sex, sexual orientation or gender identify, religion, age, marital status, disability, or even retaliation for prior civil rights activity. Discrimination could have occurred in many ways. So if discrimination was the cause, the following are examples of how discrimination may have been experienced. Please note that this list does not indicate all potential covered discrimination, nor does it limit a potential applicant's ability to apply. So failure to provide appropriate assistance, delay in processing loan or loan servicing applications, denial of a loan or loan servicing, prevention from applying for a loan or loan servicing, adverse loan term, unduly supervision of loan requirements, so there are also loss factors that people have experienced. The following are examples of losses that the application may ask about. Because there might have been many types that have occurred, they will not all be listed here, but here is just a, a few. So a loss of agricultural land, loss of home, if used as collateral for a loan, Loss of money resulting from offsets, garnishments, or deficiency judgments imposed on an individual because of defaulting on a USDA farm loan or a USDA foreclosing on a USDA farm loan or other economic loss because of discrimination by USDA and USDA lending programs. So they do have documentation requirements, but the application includes step-by-step -step directions and a list of documents that are either required or recommended at each step. Providing documentation or evidence of discrimination will help submitted applications throughout the process. Do not include original supporting documents with your submission. Your documents will not be returned to you and may be destroyed after the program in accordance with record management requirements. So again, please make and keep all original copies of all supporting documents that accompany your application. So if you go to the link that I provided, you will see on here that you can apply directly via e-filing system, or you can look up your closest regional office so you can mail in a paper copy, or you can even drop in in person. If you do drop in in person, they have people to help you at your local office with filling out the application. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's there's many ways to get this done, and um, this website also provides a lot of resources that you might need. So I'm going to go ahead and um, stop sharing my screen. And um, at this moment, if anybody has any questions, we're here to answer. <laughs> Is a description of the discrimination financial assistance program. Uh, this was, let me go down a little bit here. 
This is specifically for those that may have experienced discrimination and the United States Department of Agriculture Farm Lending Program. Section 22007 of the Inflation Reduction Act authorized $2.2 billion in financial assistance to farmers and ranchers who experienced discrimination in USDA farm loans prior to January 1st of 2021. Even though we have been promoting this to the ending at the end of this year, there has been an extension to January 13th of 2024. The application is free and free technical assistance is available, either directly through the USDA or through its service providers. The steps to apply are very simple. You can apply online and after I complete reading the information here, I'll actually click through so you can get more information. <clears throat> but you can register online and also find resources near where you are. USDA DFAP, Discrimination and Financial Assistance Program. Local offices are a network of brick and mortar locations where you can connect with in-person agents for help with applications and where you can drop off a complete application. Office hours and locations can be found at the link, which I'll be clicking when I get through reading this information to you. You can also get assistance through a call center. Telephone assistance is available. Live agents are available and eager to answer questions about applications at 1-800-721 0970 from 8 a.m. Eastern Time to 8 p.m. Uh, seven days a week, except for federal holidays. There are partner organizations. USDA has ensured that groups with extensive experience conducting outreach to farm organizations are able to support individuals who may be eligible for the program. These groups include AgriAbility, the Farmer Veteran Coalition, Farmers Legal Action Group, Federation of Southern Cooperatives, Inter-Tribal Agricultural Council, Land Loss Prevention Program, the National Young Farmers Coalition, and Rural Coalition. Applicants may also reach out to these groups for further information and assistance. As I said, Global Green Development Cor uh, Corporation, I'm sorry, Global Green De Development Group has over 30 years experience in providing technical assistance to individuals and larger companies. Now I'll click on this link so that we can actually go to the website. Oops. Um. And we can only move as fast okay. as the computer does. Let me try the other link at the bottom here. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll copy it and paste it. Stop share. Again, thank you for your patience. I'll actually copy this into the chat so you can see it. Or you can click on like yourself. Let's see. That's HTTP colon uh, S colon slash slash two two zero seven apply dot G O V. So I'm putting that information in the chat for you, Tamika. And I'm going to now go to my screen and click it to see if I can access it online. Yes, I can. So I'm going to start sharing again.
Jamaica, can you see the screen okay? Or Anthony or Kenneth, can you see the screen? Okay, I think I heard you. So this is the this is the website link. <clears throat> it's a financial, it's a discrimination financial assistance program. And it says what I just got through saying here. Of course, it's asking you to also um, beware of scams. But yes, you can determine whether you are eligible or not at this website link. <clears throat> you can access the application itself. You can learn about the national, regional and national review pro, program and also the disbursement schedule. So again, I'm going to send a click on these links. Eligibility. And at the top, you'll notice that the application deadline has been extended to January 13th of 2024. Eligibility requirements. Let's see if I can make this larger. Yes, I, I, I do have that form. However, I'm going to send you over an invoice as well, because once I provide that form, they don't need us anymore. Either experience discrimination. Well, they need to make the deposit. They get everything you need. The United States Department of Agriculture and its farm lending programs, which are currently administered by the farm. Yeah, I don't remember who it is, but okay, so. I look at me in Zoom right now, but I'll 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 I'll, 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 I'll just read that form, but I'm sending the answer to the form. Assume USDA All right. farm lending. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Yeah, you're about, uh, uh, every, uh, so every one of these parents do the same until after 11, January 1st of 2021. This applies, for example, if you okay, have right, the debt that was subject of USDA farm lending oh. discrimination by the USDA. Lending covered by the program, discrimination experienced in all USDA lending programs qualify for the ability to apply for financial assistance through this program. Eligible farm lending programs include farm ownership loans, farm operating loans, micro loans, youth loans, farm storage facility loans, Emergency loans, economic emergency loans, emergency livestock loans, soil and water loans, conservation loans, softwood timber loans, and grazing loans. Note, the program covers both USDA direct and guaranteed lending through USDA's Farm Service Agency or its predecessor, the Farmers Home Administration. But for applicants who participated in guaranteed loan programs, discrimination by the non USDA lender does not qualify for this program. Only discrimination by USDA personnel in USDA, USDA lending is covered. <clears throat> to be eligible to participate in the program, you must be or have been a farmer or would be farmer. Be or have been a participant or would be participant in farm lending. Have experienced discrimination by USDA in USDA farm lending or be a debtor with a signed or assumed USDA farm lending debt that was the subject of USDA discrimination. Be able to verify your identity and provide information to substantiate the discrimination experienced. Note, individuals who have personally prevailed and obtained money or loan forgiveness in a prior case addressing discrimination in USDA farm lending programs are eligible to participate in this program. This program covers discrimination based on different treatment you experienced because of race, color, or national origin, or ethnicity, including status as a member of an Indian tribe, sex, 
sexual orientation or gender identity, religion, age, marital status, disability, reprisal or retaliation for prior civil rights activity. If discrimination was the cause, the following are examples of how that discrimination may have been experienced. Please note that this list does not indicate all potential covered discrimination, nor does it limit a potential applicant's ability to apply. This includes <clears throat> failure to provide appropriate assistance, a delay in processing loan or loan servicing application, denial of a loan or loan servicing, prevention from applying for a loan or loan servicing, adverse loan terms, unduly onerous supervision of loan requirements. The following are examples of losses the application asks about because they may have occurred because of discrimination by USDA in USDA farm funding programs. Please note that this list is not comprehensive, nor does it limit a potential applicant's ability to apply. These would include loss of agricultural land, loss of, loss of home if used by collateral for a loan, loss of money resulting from offsets, garnishments, or deficiency judgments imposed on an individual because of defaulting on a USDA farm loan or USDA foreclosing on a USDA farm loan. Other economic loss because of discrimination by USDA and USDA lending programs. This application includes step-by-step -step directions and a list of documents that are either required or recommended at each step. Providing documentation or evidence of discrimination will help submitted applications throughout the process. Warning, warning, warning. Do not include original supporting documents with your submission. Your documents will not be returned to you and may be destroyed after the program concludes in accordance with record management requirements. Please make and keep all original copies of all supporting documents that accompany your application. The information I just provided to you <clears throat> is available at 22007apply.gov. You can find the eligibility requirements there. I'm going to return <clears throat> to <clears throat> 2207apply.gov. This is the original site. Also, for those that are with us in the Zoom, you can find that information in the chat. You can also please share this information. You notice that the deadline is January 1st of 2021. Before that time, the discrimination must have occurred. It's unfortunate but true that discrimination has been occurring for decades in the USDA farm lending program for African Americans and minorities. So it may be the case that you know of someone or have someone in your family who is a victim of discrimination that may have occurred before the property was lost. In many cases, farms were lost and the homeowners or the owners displaced. So it's very difficult to reach or find people that are qualified to receive these funds. So please spread this information as far and wide as you are able to do so. The review process will begin after applications are received. There is a timeline and program deadline link here that will actually provide you the information. 
you can submit an application through January 13th of 2024. If your application is late, it will not be reviewed and you will not receive financial assistance. There will be no extensions. If your application is incomplete, it will be evaluated on the basis of the information that is included. To be counted as timely, applications submitted by U.S. or overnight mail must be postmarked no later than January 13th of 2024. Applications submitted in person at a local office must be delivered by 8 p.m. local time on January 13th, 2024. Applications submitted online must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on January 13th of 2024. The information submitted through the application form is the only application requirement for this program. There will not be any hearings, appeals, or other processes to apply to this program. You are encouraged to apply in advance of the deadline to allow time to resolve any questions on the application. Your application will be processed in the region <clears throat> that covers the farm or ranch listed in the application. So even though you <clears throat> may be in a state other than the one that the farm or property was owned or lost, your application will be processed in the region that covers the farm or ranch listed in the application. The review process will begin after receiving application and will continue for several months. You will be notified of the status of your application once determinations are made. You may also check the status of your applications at forms.2207 apply.gov. Note, you will need your confirmation ID to retrieve your application status. Payment disbursements. Payments for approved applications will be delivered early next calendar year by check through the U.S. mail. There are several ways to apply. You can apply online. When you click the link, you'll be taken to an online e-filing system. And you will click the link at the top to begin the application process. You are strongly encouraged to submit your application online via the e-filing system. Applications may be submitted online through the e-filing application form available at forms.2207apply.gov. Please do not, do not, do not email your application or supporting documentation for this program. We will not, not, not be able to consider applications and or supporting documents sent via email. Benefits of submitting your application via the e-filing form include instant access to your application status. You can log into your account to see the status of your application as it progresses through the review phase. <clears throat> instant access to correspondence sent by the program staff. This includes information on the completeness of your application and request for additional information to avoid any processing delays. You may upload your supporting documents directly to the program website. This book will allow you to upload relevant documents directly to the program website. Get instant information on the completeness of your application. This will identify and whether you have skipped any part of it, so you will be more likely to avoid an incomplete application. Only answer the questions relevant to you. You may not be required to fill in all sections of the application. The application will only present the questions relevant to you 
based on how you answer qualifying questions. You may also mail a paper copy. There are two methods to obtain a paper copy of the application. You can download a copy of the application, and I must tell you, I suggest that you do download a copy of the application and then complete the application so that when you go online to file it, you will have information in front of you that will match the information that you register online. If you need the application in a language other than English or Spanish, you may call the DFAP call center. I'm sorry, you may contact the DFAP call center at info at 2207apply.gov or phone at 1-800-721-0970. Number two, you may email the national administrator at info at 22007apply.gov or call the DFAP call center at 1-800-721-0970 and request that an application be mailed to you. Again, please do not email your application or supporting documentation for this program. We are not able to consider applications and or supporting documents sent via email. The submission instructions. One, type or print your answers using black or blue ink. Your application must be readable by our representatives. If we are unable to read your application, this may result in a denial or a request to provide an updated application. Use either of the following to make your selection when answering a question that has a box or a circle, check or X. A signature is required. Include a signed signature page, step 10, of the application with your completed application form. Be sure all documents you submit, including your application and all the supporting documents, have your social security number or individual taxpayer identification number printed at the top of the first page of each document. If you submit a statement under penalty of perjury, template by another person, in support of your application, you should use the form available at Resources and Documents or a document substantially like it. I'll come back and click on that link to deep dive further into that. Number six, <clears throat> please make and keep your own copies of all supporting documents that accompany your application. Do not, do not, do not include original supporting documents with your submission. They will not be returned to you and may be destroyed after the program concludes in accordance with the record management requirements. To submit your paper application, you can send the form itself, appendices, and copies of your supporting documents in one of the following ways. Mail, first class, or overnight to the appropriate regional hub. Choose based on the location of the farm that is the subject of the application. You can see the list of states, commonwealths, and territories below or drop off at the appropriate regional hub. Walk-in locations are available below. Applications and or supporting documentation will not, will not, will not be accepted via email, thumb drive, or facsimile. And finally, your application will be processed by the main regional office nearest the farm or ranch listed in the application. 
This page provides the regional assignments by state and territory. Each region has at least one physical location. You may call or visit these locations to get help completing the application. There are four regions. I will not read each of these states, but region one, <clears throat> you have region one, region two, or region, for region one, I'll put it this way. For region one, you must <clears throat> <clears throat> visit or send your information to Windsor Group LLC, CODFAP region one, that address is 606710A, Rockledge, R-O-C-K-L-E-D-G-E Drive, Suite 400 in Bethesda, Maryland, 20817. You may reach them at 800-721-0972. For Region 2, you may use the 2207 Application Processing Center, Attention Windsor Group, LLC, Care of DFAP Region 2. That address is Gainesville Technical Entrepreneurship Center, GTEC, located at 2153 Southeast Hawthorne Road, Suite 217, Gainesville, Florida, 32641. That number two is 1 800 721 0970. Region 3. 2207 Application Processing Center, care of Mon Abri, M O N A B R I Business Center, located at 2524 North Broadway, Suite 338, in North Edmond, Oklahoma, 73034. The phone number again is 800 721 0970. And finally, Care of Mon Abri, that's capital M O N, capital A B R I, Business Center at 2524 North Broadway, Suite 338 in North Edmond, Oklahoma, 73034. The phone number again is 800 721 0970. Submit your application in person at a local office. You may also drop off a completed application and supporting documentation at any of the program's dedicated local offices. Note, this program is being administered by non-governmental entities. Therefore, their offices are not FSA County or state offices. Alternatively, if you need assistance in preparing your application and feel more comfortable talking to someone in person, you may visit the program's dedicated local offices. You can fill out the online application on a computer in the office or have an agent provide assistance in putting the application online by answering questions to the application in person. In-person regional locations can be found by clicking this link. Timeline and program deadlines. You can submit an application through January 13, 2024. If your application is late, it will not be reviewed and you will not receive financial assistance. There will be no extensions. If your application is incomplete, it will be evaluated on the basis of the information that is included. To be counted as timely, the application submitted by U.S. or overnight mail must be postmarked no later than January 13th of 2024. Applications submitted in person at a local office must be delivered by 8 p.m. local time on January 13th, 2024. Applications submitted online must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on January 13th, 2024. The information submitted through the application form is the only application requirement for this program. There will not be any hearings, appeals, or other processes to apply for this program. You are encouraged to apply in advance of the deadline to allow time to resolve any questions on the applications. I know this is repetitive, but I'm going to repeat it and end up this presentation. 
your application will be processed in the region that covers the farm or ranch listed in the application. The review process will begin after receiving applications and will continue for several months. You will be notified of the status of your application once determinations are made. You may also check the status of your application at forms.220007. I'm sorry, forms.2207 apply.gov. Note, you will need your confirmation ID okay. to retrieve your application status. And finally, payment disbursement. Payments for approved applications will be delivered early next year, early next calendar year, by check through the U.S. mail. Thank you for your patience in allowing me to review that information with you. I'm now opening up the floor for any comments or questions, or if you're having difficulty with the audio, please feel free to put your question or comment in the chat. 